Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habitu fillah The question was asked Can you do a video on having friends that have an ashari o maturidiya aqidah? This is confusing the youth. I know there are many athar regarding sitting with Ahl al-Bid'ah. Like, do you know anything on being friends with them? Or should we have basic manners with them but not chill with them, you know? Or should we cut them off for this reason, that we may be affected by their creed? Also, one brother said in Ashari Maturidi, who is kind with good manners, is closer to him than a Salafi with bad manners. Is this a correct approach? First and foremost, as you mentioned, there are many athar of the Salaf about sitting with Ahl al-Bid'ah. And I think that is clear and known. And we know that the Prophet ﷺ said the Ummah would break into uh, 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then it was asked, who are they, Ya Rasulullah wasallam. He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. And what we see with the Messenger of Allah wasallam was upon and the companions were upon... Uh, differs from what the Maturidiya and the uh, Ashari believe, especially in some aspects of uh, creed, in especially related to things like uh, the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, as far as sitting with them, for many of the youth, I especially would imagine in a lot of Muslim uh, people who are born into Muslim families, that they, and especially in the Pakistani, Indian, Pakistani, Bengali communities, that many of them have relatives who are Diobandi, who are uh, Maturidiya or Ashari in their creed. So, of course, there is hikmah. There's always wisdom in how you deal with people. And I find it, going back to the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and first to uh, the Kitab Allah, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, uh, you know, told Musa to speak to Fir'aun with, a, with, a gentle, with gentle speech. Why? In order to, maybe that he would, he would come uh, to Tawheed. Maybe he would leave off his, his oppression and his evil. So, if that's the case... To go with the biggest shaitan from amongst mankind, then what about people who are much less of a threat? So you find that in accordance with the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that gentleness is almost always a good approach to have good manners, to be respectful, which unfortunately many of the people have not done. And this is why at the last part of the question you have this particular individual, and I have an idea, I know one of the du'at, Yasser Qadi, mentions about uh, a statement like this in his uh, his treaties about uh, Salafia, or Salafi Islam, I believe it's called, and he mentions in it about how, you know, he would rather sit with a polite, good-mannered Ashari or Maturidi, or a uh, Diobandi, than a Salafi, that's hardcore. And so this is uh, incorrect, these kind of statements, but we don't expect to hear those kind of statements from Ahlul Sunnah. So although, unfortunately, because of many of the people who claim to be Salafi, claim to follow the minhaj of the Salaf, you find many people who are very harsh, who are suspicious, who practice suspicion. So, of course, you don't want to be around any people like that. You don't want to go to a masjid and the people are looking at you. Uh, you came to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You came to benefit from a lesson and everybody's looking at you crazy. That's not uh, from the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the funny thing is, is you don't find that in the Salafi communities in here in Saudi Arabia, for the most part, and in, the, uh, uh, in Yemen. And Yemen is even more where you, you could say you have masajid that are, pre, that are Salafi. Whereas in Saudi Arabia, it's usually a mix. Even if a, the scholar is Salafi, you'll have everyone, people praying. It's a masjid. You come to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you'll have a mix in the, the place. But even in those Salafi communities in Yemen, I didn't find that for the most part. 
especially in the Masajid. They don't just look and make uh, you know suspicion and teftish, but you find this in the West. So you find that this is a taksir, this is a, a shortcoming that we have. So getting back to the the uh, main crux of your question, uh, it, being friends with them, this depends on your level of knowledge as far as how to uh, deal deal with uh, people who differ and have who have uh, who are mukhalifin from the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also depends on the level of their deviance are they just from the general people they're not blind followers or not uh, prejudiced like this but yes he has that uh, tathir you know an effect of some ashari creed or something like this so again ahl sunnah has different levels ahl bidah has different levels and this comes down to fiqh of uh, a mukhalif so in, in general of course you should only be with people who share your creed, the creed of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah, in order to not be affected with them. But as far as the intricate details, there are many. And it is important, I think, instead of just spitting out the same old answer, no, don't sit with this and don't sit with us, you, you do have, because we have real lives and we have real practices and, and, and practicality that we have to deal with in our societies. We deal with societies where most of the people are not Salafi maybe not even Muslim, and then you deal with, in your communities, good brothers that may not have the, the Salafi ittiqad. They may have akhta. They may have uh, mistakes. They may have differences in minhaj. They may have a general Salafi aqidah, but they're not students of knowledge. They're not callers to anything. They're your Muslim brother, and they may need, uh, if you are in a position of knowledge, they, where they benefit, and if they respect you, then you're in a good situation. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan.